Hello my friends, this is another video talking about the layout in Flutter. So in this video, we are going to cover the aspect ratio widget, card widget, and the wrap widget. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you won't miss out future video about Flutter. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Let's back to uh, Visual Studio and open our uh, emulator. So here I already connect with my emulator with my uh, Visual Studio and we will go uh, start from this point. The first widget we are going to talk is this aspect ratio widget. So the aspect ratio widget is a widget that attempts to size the child to a specific aspect ratio. And I would uh, give you a quick example. So I just uh, remove this center widget. And so I save it. And I will give a step-by-step -step, uh, explanation about the code I wrote here. So first we create a container inside this safe area. So the container will start under this toolbar, right? And after that, we give this container a blue color. Here we also uh, give this container with 100 height and also double infinity weight. So this means this container will uh, get the biggest size which allowed by its parents, which is this safe area. So here you see, and this uh, blue color is this our container. So inside our container, we have this aspect ratio widget. So inside this aspect ratio widget, we didn't specify it is height and weight, but we we actually uh, give this uh, ratio to aspect ratio attribute, and inside this attribute uh, aspect ratio uh, widget, we have this uh, another container as it is child. So we also give the uh, green color. So you see, and inside this green container uh, would be. Uh, the trial of this aspect ratio. So you see we didn't give the height and weight of this uh, green container but it will calculate itself by through these uh, it is parents. So we can uh, slightly change uh, this uh, aspect ratio to uh, 2 uh, to 2. So, so when I uh, save So you will see, so the the, the weight would be uh, 2 and the height would be 1. So you will actually calculate uh, height would be 100, so you will only uh, calculate the weight. So in here would be a 200. Right? And also uh, the alignment, I give these uh, a trial alignment with center, so you will align in this, this center. And also, uh, we could, I could probably change this to one to two. So when I save, you will see. So now the weight is like a, a fifty, right? Because we have one hundred high. So if we use uh, this ratio, and you will calculate uh, automatically by Flutter, and will give us this fifty weight. So you can use this aspect ratio. Uh, to s specify uh, what kind of uh, ratio uh, allow in this uh, child. Also, uh, another thing I want to mention uh, is if we give the weight or height in inside this aspect ratio, so it doesn't uh, uh, produce any like effect. You see, I specify this uh, green container to have a 100 weight but actually uh, it didn't count these uh, 100 weight so the same as the, the height attribute so we also go give proper give uh, 50 high and we save you will see it doesn't uh, take any effect right so by default you will using it is parent right using it is parents height so this will be 100 and also calculate it is weight so you don't need to specify the weight and height inside these uh, aspect ratios child. 
and next I'm going to cover this card widget so as you can see from uh, the Flutter official website and by default the Flutter SDK uh, provide these uh, material design card as you can see here so when they using this card widget inside your app you will have this a container with a shadow a, a little bit shadow uh, no worry, we'll go to uh, Visual Studio Code and I will give you a quick example. So here I remove everything uh, from save area and I just uh, save the code I wrote and I will give you a line by line explanation. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we have our card coming up and you will see if you're using these uh, cards. Uh, car widget we will have uh, these uh, little uh, shadow uh, by default and you can also uh, remove this shadow by setting this elevation to zero so when I, when you save it uh, you will remove this shadow right so here uh, I just comment out so I want this shadow so you can see it more clear or maybe I can make it much uh, much much more the shadow much more so you can see clear yeah you can see here and then inside this car uh, we have this trial the widget so you can make any trial inside this car widget so for example I just using this column widget so I uh, I'll probably give uh, this uh, first column would be this icon and this title and the second column would be those button so the fourth column, uh, the first column would be this this tile, this detail. So we have already uh, talked about this uh, this detail in my uh, previous video. So you can check my previous video to get refresh of these uh, this detail widget. So inside this this detail widget, uh, we have this leading uh, attribute. So we uh, we can pass this icon class. Uh, using it is uh, using a default flutter icon uh, provided by this icon class so you can always reach out to the official uh, website and flutter uh, dev and search this icons class so you will see inside this icons class it actually define a uh, lot of static uh, static uh, attribute so you can just use it and to uh, display those icons just using icons dot these name right so for example i want to uh, use uh, this icon this ss time field so i just copy uh, i think it's just this one and go back to my uh, uh, visual studio code i just change this album to uh, ss time field and i just save it and uh, you will see now this icon change uh, the one we want right and then we have this title. The title will be have a, a, a black color and it will be a little bit dark, you see. And we have a subtitle and this one will be a great color underneath of this title. And then we have a second column. So, and also we make, we have this uh, row widget inside the second column. And we also give these uh, main axis alignment to the end. So you see those two button actually will align in the end and also inside this uh, row widget uh, we have uh, actually we have two buttons right so the first button would be uh, buy tickets and the second button would be this listen okay there's uh, pretty much for this car widget and you can decide uh, you can define uh, actually a more complex uh, flutter ui inside uh, using this default uh, flutter card widget also, I uh, recommend you to check out uh, these uh, Flutter official web uh, documentation talking about this uh, color class. Okay, we finished the car widget, and next we're going to talk is this wrapped widget. Okay, let's back to uh, Visual Studio Code, and we replace this card widget uh, with the wrapped widget. Also, I will give you a line-by-line -line explanation of the widget I wrote here. So first, we have this uh, red widget, and inside this red widget, uh, we have uh, the ch children attribute. 
So actually we have a we can count one, two, three, four, we have a four chip, right? And chip uh chip actually is this one displayed here on the screen. So we have the uh, avatar and also the label for this avatar, right? So so first let me remove those uh spacing and run spacing so I save it and first I change this to a row widget so you will see what kind of problem we will need right so when I save actually we will see this uh overflow right you see the widget overflow because we have a uh, more item to a uh, display so in a row so you will actually cause this overflow the way to solve this widget overflow is by replacing uh, this uh, road widget to wrap the widget so when you save it uh, you will see it will re you will move these uh, chipped widget into the next row and also inside this uh, wrapped widget uh, we have a spacing attribute so you can specify the gap between uh, the main axis. So when I save, you will see these uh, those two chips have a little gap between, right? And also the run spacing would be a uh, specify the cross axis gap, right? And also inside this wrap, we have a direction attribute. We can specify to uh, axis uh, vertical so I say you see now our uh, wrapped widget will uh, display uh, vertically and also we could increase this number just uh, copy paste those chip the widget just wait a few Okay, when I save, you will see now it also automatically wrap the those uh, chips into the next. Uh, I think it's a uh, next uh, vertical column. Inside this wrap the widget, you also provide the alignment attribute and run alignment attribute. So we can specify this alignment attribute. But actually, you need to pass this uh, wrapped alignment instead of alignment class. So we probably will uh, replace a uh, wrapped alignment center. So when I save, you will notice uh, this extra chip widget will be aligned in the center. And also, we can change it to alignment in the end. The wrapped widget also provides this uh, run alignment, which is uh, specify. Uh, when you have a uh, when you change this direction to uh, axis uh, vertical so you can use this uh, run alignment feel free to try yourself and i think that's all for today's video i hope you can make out the complex flutter ui uh, after you finish this uh, layout widget tutorial and also i uh, you can uh, find my Flutter UI uh, from scratch tutorial uh, in my channel page and in there I will give you a well explanation for the Flutter UI I made okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button and if you like my video please thumbs up my video I will be really appreciate okay that's all for today see you next time